Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Yumesh Gupta. In this video, we are going to talk about a custom hook called Use Previous. Basically, we are going to see what this utility is all about. We might encounter it in our day to day dev job, plus, it's a quick interview question. Uh, we are also going to talk about what are custom hooks, why they are required, uh, and uh, we are going to code along to build the Use Previous hook. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So first things first, as a true tech YouTuber, I would say that please do like, share and subscribe this video, hit the bell icon. So this uh, channel, this uh, the platform DevTools Tech is for you folks and uh, subscribing and supporting it uh, means a lot and it motivates me to do more. So please help me out folks. So what are custom hooks? That is like the million dollar question here. So what the definition I'm about to give you is, uh, you know, a bit different or maybe a bit elaborate than what you see on the internet. So like as you grow in your, in your career, as you climb the ladder, career ladder, and you have some experience under your belt, then you tend to focus a lot on code readability, code maintainability, code hygiene, and uh, uh, you start to realize that uh, eventually, that you're writing code for your fellow engineers, for your fellow developers, not for the machine. The sooner you realize this, the better it is for you. Uh, so my aim with this channel is not just throw, you know, jargons at you, not just throw con tech concepts or interview questions. I'm trying to impart knowledge, what, you know, I've learned from other people's, what I've observed uh, from really good engineers and uh, concepts or, uh, you know, things apart from technical things that will you know, help you distinguish between a junior engineer and a senior engineer and maybe make you help you make that transition. So this concept that eventually you start to realize that you're coding it for other people, you're not coding it for the machine. So you, you know, tend to focus on how we can, you know, decrease line of code, maybe, maybe how can we re make reusable utilities, how we can impact a larger audience or improve the, you know, productivity of our team. So I would say custom hooks is also in that direction to an extent that it is basically a react hook or basically a utility that abstract out common code, abstract out knowledge, uh, logic and make it like a reusable function that different people can use in your organization. So in the most layman term, it is just a function that uh, is abstracting out uh, common logic or repeated logic into that can be used by other people in you know in their use cases now back to let's go to the pre uh, use previous hook which was the you know the topic of this uh, uh, video <clears throat> so if we go to the devtools tech platform uh, uh, here on the platform we see that uh, we have this option list we go click on this now basically list is a collection of uh, questions or based on a similar topic Let's say array polyfills is a list or promise questions or uh, front end coding challenges, MCQ questions and so on. So in this case, uh, we are going to focus on custom hooks. So we have a list top react custom hooks interview questions. Let's explore this. Inside the custom hooks legs, uh, list right now we have four questions. The one which we are going to focus on is use previous one. So let's solve this. So we come here our id is ready let's see what it says that it say it's talk about react hooks then it says that uh, uh, this also brings a question that when we when using hooks how do i get the previous value of a prop or state we know that in class components we have the option of component did update method which receive prop previous props and state as argument so in this question you need to create a custom hook use previous that provides us uh, the previous value so i'm reading here in the question description so in the so the thing is in short that in our class based components we used to have component did update okay oh in which we used to have previous props and previous state and based on this we used we can do some computation maybe we can use the previous props and compare it with current props we can use the previous state and compare it with the current state so our custom hook use uh, previous is 
we are trying to you know mimic the same functionality that if we have a prop then in the next render we can use the previous value so as simple as that so if we see the uh, component here that we have a variable count and we have set count and use state which is providing at zero and previous count and uh, we call the use previous hook and we pass the count so it says that the implementation of use previous should be such that count should always be ahead of previous count that means that initially it should be 0 0 then 1 0 then 2 1 and 3 2 and so on I mean we can you know solve it here that we can write uh, a logic to you know compute this previous count or maintain this previ previous count here but the, as we talk about that custom hook is a re reusable utility that can you know used by uh, other people in the team so if I create a custom hook then if anyone in my team encounters such a use case where they have to you know use the previous value then they can directly use this hook and uh, get on with the day so now if I run this right now, right now it's getting 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 and so on. But what we want is uh, if I click on increment, it should be 6, 5, then 7, 6 and so on. So let's see how we can do this. So if we go to the files tab and we use use previous, we are already provided with this file. I open this. So right now it's just returning the value which it is receiving. So if I use let's say what what we can do here what how we can maintain uh, the value we know in react we can use use state and uh, use state uh, using this we can update the state and return the value but use state is going to cause a re-render like if I use a uh, uh, let's say state and set state and we pass the value and we return the state so we need to import this new state from react and uh, we want to update the value when our uh, value changes so we want to update our state so that is a side effect that means whenever our value changes then we need to make some action so that is a side effect and in react hooks we achieve this using use effect so we have use effect and we pass the value here so whenever our value changes we update the state set state and we pass the value plus one or not just the value so we just set the value okay and so if we and use this right now and let's say let's refresh this see it is still not achieving our use case because we are still getting the most updated value because if you you know go here and console log value see it is getting the most updated value and we are setting the most updated value and due to this uh, setting our app is getting re-rendered because uh, this is causing uh, a set state and set state is going to re-render our app component so if I console log count and previous count here and if I refresh this see it's causing a re-render that we are passing 3 then it updates the st uh, our uh, state inside use previous and it causes a re-render so we can't use use state here basically so what else we can use to maintain state without causing a re-render so think about it we can use use ref to maintain state so let's say we have uh, previous value ref use ref and we pass the same use value inside our component rather than using use state let's close this what we can do is 
previous value ref dot current equal to value and we pass dot current so now we are going to update the current uh, property on ref but this is not going to cause a re-render so our previous value would be maintained so let's say if i can increment then 1 0 then 2 1 3 2 4 3 5 4 and so on and we can also verify this that console log count and previous count if we go there and we refresh this so right now it's 0 0 we increment then 1 0 then 2 1 3 2 and so on so so it's in our previous case what we was happening is that we were passing count uh, the count we achieve getting the count here then we cause a set state which is going to in uh, as a cascading effect uh, re-renders our app component uh, so that's why we were getting the most updated value 3 3 3 on both sides but here we are getting 3 2 and so on so this brings end to a video i hope this question and the solution i provide was helpful to you in some way you were able to learn something today if uh, yes then please do like share and subscribe help us raise awareness also if you feel that i could have done something better or there is some better solution out there then please uh, feel free to mention that in the comments or reach out to me on linkedin twitter whatever you feel like so till next time see you tata bye bye